Hey everybody, so I figured I'd do another video in my popular series on how to get Flash on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, all with iOS 7, 6, whatever version you're on. Uh, this is going to be the top Flash-enabled browsers for the iPhone. I know I already showed you a couple like Puffin and Cloud Browse, but this is all of the browsers that I found that are the top ones rated in an article here on about.com. I figured you guys would like it and I figured it would give you some more options if some of these options aren't really giving you the best experience that you wanted. So first here, this author rates Photon as the best browser for Flash Playback on the apps from the App Store. So basically the way Pop, uh, Photon works is it actually is similar to Cloud Browse where it connects you to a remote computer and you can load Flash on the computer through your iPhone. Uh, it costs $3.99 in the App Store, but basically there's no pixelation. It works over Wi-Fi. Uh, occasional viewing on 3G is okay. It works better with Hulu and video sites, the author says. He rates it as a 3.5 out of 5. I actually haven't tested it out, but I'll probably do a video on this later for you guys. But essentially it works similar to Cloud Browse, but it seems to be a little more solid than that. And it works especially good for video streaming. So if you're looking for a good video streaming app for Flash on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch on iOS, go ahead and check out Photon. That's a good option for you guys. Uh, scrolling down, as you can see, Cloud Browse, I showed it to you again. It works with a remote desktop session. This costs $2.99 in the App Store. It used to cost a dollar, but I guess they've changed the price. It also has a $9.99 month per month subscription, so I guess that's a reason why a lot of you have turned away from it and have been complaining to me. But it is actually fast. The flash is okay. The video is okay. It does work, but Hulu doesn't really work that well. So it used to be very good, but it has gone down. I have tested it out. I mean, it's good enough for me for average things using Flash for ads, etc. But you may want to check out Photon before you check out Cloud Browse as it is cheaper and the video streaming is better. Uh, but overall, Cloud Browse is a good browser as well. Just to let you know, again, both of those are remote browsers. So what you essentially are doing are loading on a remote server. So if you're going to be looking up things that you don't want other people to see, such as personal information, etc., I would recommend not using those browsers. I'd recommend using Puffin because you don't want your information to be leaking around. Uh, but yeah, both of them do work, etc. Uh, so go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. Third is Puffin. It costs a dollar. My favorite because it is a local browser and it only costs a dollar. Uh, the Flash playback is good. I don't know why this author says it isn't that good. Uh, but the video is a little choppy. It, it works, though. I like it. It is a local browser, which is especially why I like it, so you can look up anything that you want on Hulu, etc., and nobody will be uh, yelling at you or getting you in trouble. Uh, it is very speedy for a local browser, and the Flash does work. The one thing I do agree with this author on is that the Flash features are a little slow, a little bit lacking, but it does work for Flash. Uh, it is built into the browser, and it is a local browser, which makes it my favorite browser on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad on iOS. Uh, number four is Flash Browser. Uh, it says since you can call it Flash Browser, it probably should cost $199, uh, but it wasn't really able to play Flash files. Again, this one I have not tested out as well, so I'm going to have to check it out. Uh, the author says it's very slow and very choppy. It costs, it's .5 out of 5, so I really wouldn't recommend this one either just simply because of the name I'm judging it off a of Flash browser. But it does look similar to Puffin based off of the picture here. Again, this link will be in the description. Uh, but go ahead and check it out if you want to spend the money. I would recommend spending the money on Puffin or one of the earlier browsers such as Photon or Cloud Browse because those would seem to be the best uh, for your money. But you can check it out if you want. And finally is Skyfire. Uh, Skyfire, this author rates as being incomplete because he doesn't really know, uh, but it's $2.99. Uh, Skyfire is kind of a mix of the two browsers of Puffin and the other ones. It is a local browser, but it uses a server to load your Flash files and then play them. So Skyfire servers take over. It is a relatively new app. Uh, it is speedy, similar to Puffin. Great browser in general if you just want to use it as a mobile browser. Uh, but it does load videos in a separate window. Uh, if it works, it works well. But if you find a site that it doesn't work on, it sometimes can be annoying. So I usually just have a couple browsers open like Puffin, etc. to use. Uh, so this one is pretty much just a judgment call. I've used it and I've never had any problems with it. But again, some sites have been choppy on it. Uh, but it is up to you. That's why the overall rating of this author is incomplete. But I think it's a good browser. You guys can check into it and let me know what you think. But overall, those are five browsers that you can use for Flash. 
Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. I will be uploading another video on Flash over time. I do one every couple months because I know that they are relatively popular and you guys are always looking for new ones. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and check out those browsers and be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for more content. I am going to be uploading more content like this and on the Apple WWDC next week, 2013, and on Apple in general. So hopefully you liked it and be sure to follow me on Twitter, my Facebook page, my Google Plus page my website, and my partnered channel for vlogs all in the description. Those are great ways to keep in touch with me. And also, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment, etc. in the description. And I'll be updating you guys soon on some Flash-enabled browsers and Flash on the iPhone, etc., Apple in general. So let me know if Flash worked for you. Hopefully it did, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.